Howdy folks. I thought I'd make a video considering City Point Christian College has hit the headlines. And my association with that place is pretty significant. <laughs> and in particular with this issue that it's hit the headlines for. It's hit the headlines for this issue of how it's orienting itself around gender and sexuality and um, enrollments and student policy. Now the reason I should make a comment and I'm pretty interested to, to say something here is that I went to the church that City Point Christian College is attached to. Christian Outreach College, Mansfield. Christian Outreach Center, Mansfield. Later on, I uh, attended the school as a high schooler. Following my university training, my first year of teaching was at Christian Outreach College, which is now City Point. While I was there as a teacher, I was um, very um, keenly involved to some degree in the development of students, uh, their um, identities, and I've always taken an interest in issues around, around um, uh, sexuality and ethics and morals. So. You know, I've, um, I've got a draft of a book. I don't know if I'll ever finish it, but that book is oriented around uh, Christian morals, um, family values, uh, the role of sexuality in the development of identity. And as a, as a teenager and as a man, I've taken an interest in that area just to <laughs> get the most value out of life. So my association with the school and the topic I feel is, is merits a comment. So what I'll say is that I think that the heaviness of the issue is not necessarily helpful. It's not something you can, you can just get rid of. It is a heavy issue because it touches on people's identities. It touches on people's hearts, on, on the way they see themselves, their place in the world, their value, uh, their sense of, of self-perception. So it's heavy in that way. It's also you know, heavy and, and significant because issues of sexuality dive right down to um, what makes you happy, you know, what makes you feel good and how to have fun in the world and, and what your aim is in life. And, you know, it drives so much of what we, it motivates so much of our action. The heaviness also comes from the, the deep hurt which is associated with it, you know, issues of, of identity and um, intimacy and, and, and these are issues of sexuality go right to the core of, of who you are on a, on a deep intimate level. So the heaviness comes around the, the hurt, the high stakes, the emotional stakes that are associated with the topic. So we can't get away the, from the gravity of the topic, but we can nurture each other, the two sides of the debate towards, um, towards a, an, a, a helpful tone, a helpful um, sense of, of spirit or, or attitude. And um, that's what I'm hoping to do with this video because I see value from the school's perspective, because in my opinion, a Christian school ought to be able to reinforce Christian values. I want to validate City Point on that perspective. However, a Christian school such as COC, which I'm quite familiar with, can still learn and grow in that area. Doesn't mean it's been perfect in its conduct uh, throughout this approach. So I saw a video, uh, I. A, um, another alumni shared of how if a school got rid of all gay and lesbian students, who the heck would um, fill out the drama roles in the theatre and the productions? Where would all the creativity and the arts come from? And that made me chuckle. I thought, it's kind of true. They got a point. So, for example, if we can um, level out the tone, retain the sense of gravity of the subject, 
um, but remove some of the um, hate and the anger, then I think both sides will be able to gain some value. Um, the final point I'll make is this idea of inclusion. Uh, I'm a devout Christian. I retain my Christian values just despite scrutinizing it throughout my life. I'm in my 40s now. So I really value Christianity and um, spiritual standards and, and the morality which the Bible teaches about. And, and like I said, I, I think Christian schools, Muslim schools, um, secular schools, uh, unschooling settings, they, they ought to be able to reinforce their values because the clients are going to gravitate to them for their values. So on that point, this notion that um, Christianity is all about inclusiveness is, is tenuous. Christianity draws lines. The concept of sin, the concept of, of grace, the concept of judgment, Christianity embraces those topics and, and dives deeply into it. So I think Christianity is valuable, beautiful. The gospel is, is um, the best truth that I know of. And um, it reveals love and, and new birth through faith in Christ and, and resurrection. But you have to come to grips that Christianity draws lines and it leads you towards the gospel and grace and, and salvation. But it doesn't include everything. Uh, that would be making the word Christianity fairly meaningless. Christianity is valuable because it delineates between other ideologies and itself. So I think um, sort of minimizing the, the idea of inclusiveness to Christianity is not undermining Christianity. It's helping you understand what it truly is. So we've got to come to grips with um, these deeper concepts within Christianity and um, across all the ideologies, ideologies and um, worldviews. Each have their merits, pros and cons. There are lines of difference, though, to come to grips with. So I'm um, seeing a way forward through this for City Point. I think that they can take on some nuance in their approach. I think the Christians can um, come to understand the LGBT community a bit more. I think that um, the LGBT community um, can... It's important for them to grapple with the pros and cons of what Christian schools offer and the qualities that they uh, retain despite the, um, the abrasiveness that the LGBT crowd are feeling right now. So I welcome conversation. I welcome discussion. It, um, it ought to be a, a, a space of growth. But it, there is a lot of gravity. People's identities and, and sense of identity is, is wrapped up in the whole thing. So you've got to come prepared to, to learn and grow, have some sensitivity, have a sense of openness to, to new ideas, and um, but also a sense of awe and, and inspiration that this is it's a pretty cool topic. Uh, it's what drives a lot of us, uh, sexuality and our identity and, and the deepest, innermost, uh, intimate thoughts and features of our bodies. <laughs> for me, God designed it all. For a good purpose, for for some pretty um, to help us feel good. So, uh, thanks for listening. Take care.